so let us uh, come back and start with your board papers we have successfully completed the d block chapter so with this board papers you'll have a complete idea of the d block chapter so i've done every corner of your textbook so once i'm done with the board papers i'll start with your next chapter because of some students have asked me to start uh, with the organic chapter that is your uh, uh, amines i'll be uh, the next we, uh, chapter which is we, which will be uploaded is your amines chapter very soon i think uh, uh, once your board papers are done now so whenever uh, board paper is given to you as i said d block chapter is for five marks they may divide this is basically you'll be given in a choice question uh, there will be a choice between two d block d block and d block in that choice the first question will have a part and b part that each carrying one mark and the next question again will have five parts let us start with 2017 paper last year paper so what do they ask us transition metals show variable oxidation state okay i've mostly done most of the questions so let us revise if wherever is required i'll give you the answer so transition metals show variable oxidation state right when i have to speak about transition metals most important thing i have to speak in terms of n minus 1 d configuration and ns configuration so the energy difference between both of them is very less i said when it is very less all the electrons the electrons of ns and nd also will participate so how should you answer yeah in transition elements in transition elements or transition metals or transition metals have n n minus 1 let's just have so i'm sorry i'll write it clearly have n minus 1 d and ns configuration configuration and due to less energy difference i already explained in one of the video less energy difference or low energy difference energy difference they show variable oxidation state because when the energy difference is low i can easily take out one electron from here again two electrons from here 10 electrons from there isn't it yes so due to less low energy difference between n minus 1 d and n s they show variable oxidation state they show variable oxidation state that's it simple so if you still want to write in words write it clearly no energy difference more number of electrons can be or uh, can share or participate or it can lose more number of electrons hence showing variable oxidation states let us come back to this zinc cadmium mercury are soft metals okay so metal metallic property metallic property you are always going to relate with the configuration yes that is your metallic bonding zinc has 3d configuration d10 configuration this also has d10 configuration this also has d10 configuration so what is important you are going to write because of d10 configuration or fully filled this is important isn't it yeah fully filled what will happen to the bond formation and metallic bond yes when it's fully filled it is not going to participate if it participates also the bond formation or the uh, fully filled weak metallic bond form hence are soft metals simple isn't it yeah your concentration should be on this it is one mark don't try to write paragraphs perfect answer whatever is required to be written now let us start here now e naught value for mn plus okay this question also i have done but let us see e naught value for mn plus 3 uh, mn plus 2 couple okay mn plus 3 and mn plus 2 couple is highly positive compared to cr plus 3 okay when i have to take mn plus 3 after taking out the three electrons what is the configuration i get for manganese i get 3d5 configuration after removing the electrons from the uh, config electronic configuration now this is for mn plus 3 right so this is half filled if it is half filled it is highly stable and stable when it is stable i already told you in one of the video if the value or it is uh, half filled if it is stable it's going to show positive electrode potential values please watch the earlier videos so whenever you're watching board papers try to watch the earlier videos and come back to this concept if you're starting with board papers it will really be confusing for you without understanding the concepts now when i come to cr plus three what is uh, uh, for uh, cr plus three yes in cr plus three when i see the configuration when i take out three electrons from that i get d3 configuration that d3 configuration is nothing but t2g set 
that T2G set is again stable, isn't it? T2G means these three out of five are going to distribute themselves in the T2G set. This is your EG set because of the stability. Yes, this is again stable. That is the reason E naught value means compared to this, this is this is stabilized with the T2G set. Yeah, please watch again. I'm specifying what's the earlier videos. I've already explained this concept. So because of the stability, this has a value lesser means compared to that. This is also positive, but that value is higher, highly positive compared to your copper. So this is stabilized and hence E naught value is less positive. Okay, this is your reason. Yes, so let us do uh, the 2017, the remaining part. We have done the A part. In that A part, we are left with one more question because of the deficiency of the space. I have written that question here. Now, uh, <coughs> quite common question, isn't it? Write one similarity and differences between lanthanides and actinides. So, already I have done a video on lanthanides and actinides. Please go to the DVN vlog element playlist. In that, I have written or numbered that video as video number 41. Yes, not 47, 41. So, 41 video, it is labeled as different differences between lanthanides and actinides. Now they have asked me one similarity, okay, common similarities which will be in the board key I will give you. So uh, the similarities would be both will show plus 3 oxidation state, both, okay, both will show plus 3 oxidation state, you can write that. One more similarity is both will show contraction, lanthanide contraction here, actinide contraction there. So both will show contraction, so I already said lanthanide and octanide contraction. Next important thing, they are going to show that variable oxidation states, isn't it? So, they have asked me only two, one, so I have written two, you can write that also. Variable or electronic configuration, that variations in, because of the lanternate contraction, squeezing of the atomic radii, variable oxidation state. So, you can write these two and differences, watch that video. Now, next, among the following, okay, this particular question, I have done clearly in this particular video, which is numbered video number seven. Please go and watch that video number seven the question was start in the I have to, uh, label the uh, video with the ions only please watch that video next let us come back to this is your part uh, b one two three three marks and the leftover is two marks now when i have to do this reaction again oxidizing property of kmno4 i have done i've shown you how to convert hydrogen sulfide to sulfur i've shown you the complete ionic reaction for that watch this video video number 48 yes now, now let us come back and do this now kmno4 on heating so they've asked me what happens when you heat that uh, purple color kmno4 so you, this in a solution what like just this kmno4 when you heat it it's going to dissociate into three important compounds one is K2MnO4, yes, it's going to form MnO2 plus oxygen, that's it, done, now let's see, balancing, now 2, so this is 2, so potassium is 2, potassium is 2, um, manganese is 2, manganese 1 and 2, oxygen 4, 2 is 8, here oxygen 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, done. 